We are waiting for a decision as to whether or not a Bullard High School cheerleader will be granted a restraining order against a Fresno Unified trustee. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for tuning us in. I'm Ken Malloy. And I'm Catherine Herr. That student is asking for the restraining order against Terry Sladek. She says she's scared of Sladek after she says he bullied, intimidated, and was condescending towards high school cheerleaders back in July. CBS 47's Madaris Babb joins us live from the Fresno County Courthouse. So, Madaris, what was the decision today? Well, it was supposed to wrap up today with the judge making a decision, but because of a lack of time and it going longer than expected, that decision won't be made until November. Now, until then, both the student and Sladek will have to stay 20 yards away from each other. Now, the student took the stand today and was asked numerous questions about July 10th. This was the day when trustee Sladek went to Bullard High School's cheer practice to stop cheerleaders from discussing an incident in May where one of the cheerleaders was in blackface using racial slurs. The student asking for the restraining order was t took the stand today saying she felt scared, intimidated, bullied, and even felt like Sladek was going to tear her head off that day. Her lawyer went on to say it's concerning that since the last court day that there was a photo of Sladek taken where he was sitting stands at Buchanan High School, two rows behind a, the student's mother and directly in the line of view of the student as she cheered on the field during a football game. Now, Sladek says his wife sits in the same spot at every football game, and he did not sit there to intimidate her like the lawyer said. Now, the man who took the photo did, not, did also take the sand, saying he doesn't know the student or her family, but did say he was about four inches behind Sladek when he took the photo. Now, again, the hearing was continued until November 8th because they ran out of time. That is when Sladek will be able to say his perspective and then a decision will be made. Now, it is important to also note that when Sladek was entering the building today, he was served with a petition. That petition was signed by community members who want to start recall efforts to get Sladek off of the board. The reporting live from downtown Madeira's Bab, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Madaris, thank you, and be sure to stay with Eyewitness News and online at yourcentralvalley.com for continuing coverage of this story.